Alright, so we took him off. He wasn't getting taxed. He wasn't getting taxed like crazy. He wasn't congested in these in these big mega cities. All right, and the spirit of America uh, was flourishing. Okay, so-called white man was flourishing. He was able to send his kids to college. Okay, everything was in order. All right, he was able just to do wickedness. Now that dream is diminishing. All right, because you can never you can't say oh the the, the American dream for the so-called black Hispanic and Native Indian that that never uh. That never uh, came into our mind, all right? Because this has never been a dream for us. It's always been a nightmare. This all, all has always been a place of oppression, okay? A, a prison camp, okay? So now, uh, <laughs> especially out here in California, there's a mass exodus. A mass, a mass exodus uh, uh, from California, particularly in Northern California, all right? And in LA. Because the cost of living is too high, all right? And the demographics of race, all right, you so-called Edomites are getting pushed off the block, basically, all right? You got all these prominent cities were once, which were once uh, uh, Edomite cities, all right, uh, with these top-level schools with Esau. He can go to these schools, and he doesn't have to be integrated with Jake, okay? But now Jake is taking over, all right, like the elder brother from the uh the camp he says that uh he says it's a jake over okay and that's exactly what you're seeing so the american dream is is, is crumbling and, and esau is trying to trying his hardest all right he's trying his hardest to uh to recapture the moment so to speak all right but you're not going to be able to get that moment back you're not going to be able to recall time back all right so this is a uh, jeremiah 51 and 8 babylon is suddenly fallen and it's destroyed and destroyed how for her take ball for her pain all right babylon is in pain right now all right babylon is not in a state of mirth okay it's in a it's in a rapid decline all right spiraling down all right economists analysts they all they all say the same thing it's in a precipitous decline all right uh the brother y'all call always says that all right ba babylon is through okay Babylon is totally gone. It's the, the morality of America is gone. The economy, the economy is, is crumbling. They have to have all these different type of quantitative easings, all right, to pump the economy full of uh, 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 Federal Reserve notes, the prop the prop up the economy, okay, uh, drop interest rates or raise interest rates, okay. It says, therefore, the nation, uh, it's like it. it says, how for her, take balm for her pain. If so, be she may be healed, okay. But Babylon is not Babylon is not going to be healed. Okay? That's why America's in all these different countries, uh, taking their natural resources, okay. Uh uh turning these other nations into Babylonians ultimately. This is what they're trying to do. This is what they have been doing since the, their since their inception. All right, uh Babylon was founded on uh uh uh, uh on practices of rape, robbery, murder, and has to continue to uh, uh use those has to continue to use those uh, uh, those tactics in order for it to stay in the power. That's why it's always in war. War war is a is a money uh, uh, maker. It's a money machine. Are right, you're able to go into uh, governments, uh, uh, overtake them? Are right, set up puppet leaders? 
okay then you're able to what go in the, uh, go inside the country and 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 destroy the country by putting putting your corporations there and then getting everybody getting everybody into that uh, uh, work work slave mentality okay you're able to you're able to make goods there for very cheap because you have taken down that nation and you have pretty much created a artificial a artificial uh, uh, third world country okay and then you're able to pump goods over here in America okay but but no longer is this able you're able to to do this okay no longer are you able to trade okay in a uh, in a petrodollar our other nations are breaking away from your hegemony so so that bomb represents when you have a when you have a cut or a scrape or a wound you put bomb on it to heal it so it says it says how for her take balm for her if so she may be healed Babylon cannot be healed okay it, it's 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 declining very rapidly okay number one the sins are proliferating They're, they have reached unto heaven all right the Israelites are are, are, are increasing in number the, the, the Israelites are increasing in knowledge of who they are and the skirt of Babylon which is America is being lifted up lifted up all right and now you can see you can see uh, Babylon's uh, naked parts all right you can see her filth you can see that she was just nothing but a, dir a dirty whore all right it says we would have healed Babylon but she is not healed yeah you can't you can't heal Babylon the, the trade the trading import exports are, are, are going back and forth in trade wars with these different countries like China okay are trying to decrease the tax okay on the on the middle class on these corporations to bring back jobs back to America all right to to to, to um to manufacture and that's what Edom might say oh America was great because we used to man manufacture things no America was great because you had slaves all right manufacturing those goods are right, you had Israelites manufacturing those goods for pennies on the wages pennies on the dollar all right and they'll go back into their uh, uh, uh their uh their ghettos okay and 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 the, and the corporation will make the big money all right the so-called white man will be in those head positions making a big money all right so that's how America was great all right on the slaves of the Israelites that's how all these kingdoms uh, uh, were propped up in greatness the Babylonian the Persian uh, Medo Empire uh, uh, or the, the Greco-Roman Empire okay all of uh, the Egyptian Egyptian Empire by what the slaves of the Israelites are the hardest working people on the planet earth okay so 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 now all these jobs are getting sent over over uh, overseas all right and it's totally destroying the economy which this is all plans of Yah Bashamal Shai to uh, 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 rapidly de destroy this place. It says, We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go, everyone, to his own country. Reverse migration. Reverse uh, 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 um, immigration. Where you have uh, uh, American natives or those who once came to America for that dream are seeing that the dream is inconceivable the dream is not reachable and furthermore there's 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 a, a glass ceiling to you Israelites making it here in America all right you have to sing you have to dance all right you have to be a you have to coon for the so-called white man in order to gain any type of stronghold any type of a, a, a recognition here in America and you see that it's only a very few few of our people what you would call the elite of our people and they're not the elite they're they're the they're the base of our people. They're the, they are the ones who have no integrity. They let the so-called white man walk all over them, are right, just so they can um, enjoy sin for a season. Let us go, everyone, to his own country, for sake, uh, for her judgments reacheth unto heaven, and and is lifted up even to the skies. Okay. So so that's why the Lord he's bringing all these nations, uh 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 uh. uh, uh in the valley of decision he's raising up these these different nations militaries okay he's he's crump he's crumbling america the infrastructure is totally gone okay they can't even put money into the infrastructure there's always a government shut down every quarter okay congress congress can't pass laws okay nobody trusts an american government okay 
people are fleeing from these so-called mega cities, going into a lower, uh, a, a, um, what you would call a, a less economic strain uh, uh, populations, where your money, where your money, okay, can stretch longer. Okay, people are, are going to Portland, people are going to uh, uh, Denver, all right, people are going to uh, 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 Austin, uh, Texas, okay, different parts of Texas, okay, where the cost of living is dramatically uh, uh, lower, all right, North Carolina, South Carolina, there's a mass exodus in these different cities because it's just too hard to live here, okay, where the, the, the average mean income here in, in the Bay Area is Okay, just it, it is a book. This is you're at the poverty line, pop, poverty line, poverty line, 110,000, man. That's you doing okay. That's you just getting by. Okay, gas almost four dollars. Okay, you got state tax, government, uh, uh, federal tax. So people are fleeing because they're seeing that this American dream is a bunch of BS, man. So America cannot be healed. America, America, okay. Uh, is destined to be destroyed and it's being destroyed right now and you Edomites which are you so-called white people are seeing this and you're trying to fight as hard as you can to keep on to that uh, that power but you can't keep on to it. the Lord he's ripping it away from your hand right the scriptures say that because of unrighteous dealings and riches gotten by deceit the kingdom is being translated from one hand to another all right because because of, of your because uh, uh, you have gotten this you have gotten America by covetousness, by deceit, by lies. This is how you maintain it. Are right, you you maintain America by going to these other governments, uh, 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 destroying their nation, okay, uh, uh, putting everybody onto that uh, that fractional reserve banking, okay, set setting up these different uh, centralized banks, all right, so you can funnel money in and out of the country, or right, you get everybody on on soda. Right, you get everybody in, in that work slave mentality, so they what? So they can buy and consume more. All right. So this is this whole America, this bitterness is all predicated on the consumption, decadence. Okay. This is a uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. And in, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grind and the grinders cease because they are few. All right, the Apostle Rylob did a video, and he named the video, I want to say shortage. All right, because you have a, a, a shortage, I want to say like 50,000 or how many thousand truckers that can't get these goods to uh, to these different uh, stores. Because that's how these goods are, com are come in. They import, export through, uh, um, through the sea, right? And then from the sea, they have to get to the, uh, from the sea to these different ports. They have to get to the different stores, every store that you see. So there's always a constant flow of these trucks coming in, delivering goods. Okay. But but now the grinding has ceased because there's a shortage. There's a shortage of jobs. There's a shortage of just uh, enthusiastic, en enthusiastic, uh, uh, enthusiasm, enthusiasm. All right. Just to find a job. Okay. Nobody wants to work. And then furthermore, everybody's on drugs. All right, the, the the pretty much the, the the white race is the face of uh of drugs now is the face of addiction. All right, there's a massive heroin, opioid epidemic here. Okay. So how how can America bounce back? How could it? It was never it was never it was never uh, uh, uh founded or it was never created to be healed. It was never created to bounce back or to continue forever. Right, it was created to be destroyed. And the how and those that look out of the windows be darkened. When you look out of the window, it's supposed to you're supposed to see uh what? You're supposed to see uh sunlight. You're supposed to see uh, uh um what what it what it what is it? You're supposed to see uh, a future. Okay. You're supposed to see be able to see over the horizon. You're supposed to see a great future for you and your family. When you look out of the window, you're supposed to see kids playing in the street, you're supposed to see uh, uh mirth. Are right, you supposed to see happiness? You don't see any happiness on anybody's face. All right, you see, uh, you see troubles. You see, you see anguish. Okay, because every because that pressure. Right, it says, and the doors shall be shut in the streets, 
when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the Lord, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Every everything here in America is low, man. It was never, it was. You you gotta understand that there's always when you deal with charts, okay. There's always a, a, a rapid increase to the peak, and then there's what a sudden drop. So America had its peak of greatness. Now, now it's dropping, and it's dropping at a very, very fast pace. The, the scriptures say that, "Lo, I beheld Satan uh, uh, cast down as lightning, fall down as lightning." Uh, um, Luke, Luke 17, and you know what? Let me let me get it. Let me just bring it out because music is not as it once was. The educational system is not as it once was. The infrastructure is not as it once was. Okay. The morality is not as it once was. Okay. The American military was not as it once was. Um, 18. Luke. Uh, the scripture is. Is. Uh. Scripture is escaping me at this particular moment. Give me one second. Give me one second. Yeah, yeah. ten. That's what it was. It's Luke ten. Okay. This is Luke ten. And 18 and he said unto them i beheld satan as lightning fall from heaven all right heaven 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 representing a, a rulership representing a, a comf comfortableness representing a, a, a joy happiness okay the rulership of the planet earth okay the fatness of the earth fatness of the land okay the corn and the wine representing the the plentiness all right flirt a flourishing economy all right there's no economy that's flourishing Okay, everybody's preparing for battle. Everybody's preparing for war. All right, so, so for to do what to destroy America. So now everybody's starting to see America get uncovered. All right, for the whore that it is. All right, this is a. Uh, let me bring out maybe two more scriptures. This is a. Uh, Proverbs 29 2 when the righteous are in authority the people rejoice but when the wicked bear rule the people mourn all right and and people are in a state of mourning because they're they live in paycheck to paycheck even these even these people that you you see in these um uh, these these big homes okay with nice so-called nice cars it's, that's all a facade man they, they they if they stop working for two months they're through okay if they get if they uh it was an edomite all right it was an Edomite that, that rolled off into the sunset with his canoe because he owed 500000 in, in uh, child support and he was about to get locked up. So all those curses, according to Deuteronomy 30 and 7, are now falling on our enemies, okay? Our our primary our primary enemy being the so-called white man, you Edomites. So it says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And everybody's mourning, everybody's sorrowful. All right, we're, we're mourning, but we know what? We have hope. All right, you people don't have hope. You're going to be in a continual state of mourning. You're going to be in a continual state of sickness. Because, you know, they're going to say, oh, oh, oh peace and safety. They're going to say, oh, we're going to prop America up again. We're going to make America great again. All right, you're going to, and you Edomites are holding on to that dream. But now you're starting to see that it was, that it's actually just a dream. You know, you, you a little kid. Oh, I dream. I want to be a Superman. I want to be, I want to be Batman. I, I want to, I want to, uh, I want to be the president. <laughs> And then you soon you realize when you're about 15, 16 and that shit, it was just a dream, okay? You know, like, you know, like Jake's, they got hoop dreams and rap dreams. Very few Israelites, very few Jake's actually get to uh, live out that dream, okay? Because it was just a dream. So now you're starting to see that the American dream was an actual just a dream. Because look, your daughter, your daughter is, is, is getting with a black man. That's your worst nightmare. Getting with a Latino man, getting with a Native American man, okay. Even your wife, okay. They're listening to the the Migos, listening to uh, Bruno Mars, okay. Trying to learn Spanish, or going to powwows, 
are listening to the Native American flute, okay? They don't want to be Edomites. They want to be uh, Israelites because they're starting to see that there's a, a paradigm shift, all right? Because we're at the end of an age. We're at the end of the age of the so-called white man because, look, you, you people got to understand every kingdom had its time, all right? And this is the time for America to go down. All right, so with that, all praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders. Peace and blessings to you, you brothers.